Hi, this is the result of the uh, three-part series that we used to set up uh, NetWeaver on HANA monitoring using Solution Manager. So to launch the work center, we're in the Solution Manager system using solman underscore work center, which brings us into this screen where technical monitoring um, can be launched. And Picking the system, the HNA is the ABAP system that is the BW environment on top of the HANA environment. Launch the new window, uh, brings us to a browser. Typically with Internet Explorer we're using Firefox here and um, this shows the system list. And at high level you can see alerts, performance, configuration, exceptions, etc. that reflects the status of the system get into the performance we're able to then see this visual display of the hierarchy of the system um, on the top you have the ABAP base system that is uh, comprised of the ABAP instance and the instance will consist of metrics alerts that roll up to that particular system coming from the managed system that we set up previously and the ABAP instance, of course, sits on a host. It's collected by the host agent. And then over on the database side, we have the HANA appliance, which is uh, running the database instance HTB. If you click on to the alerts, it will take us to the alerts inbox. So this alert inbox functionality, um, whichever you clicked in, there's multiple tabs. So at the high level, we have a couple of alert categories for the ABAP system. Look at the high update response time. So just on the listing of incidents there we can see that the alerts are listed individual alerts. There was a total of three and a couple yellows, one red. If you click open on them it should open up the um, actual metric itself. Uh, the idea here is that you can see the alert and what the values are. Uh, take some actions, assign tickets, create incident, etc., etc., that you um, are able to um, think about help desk type functionalities. Now going back to different alert categories, uh, we have the system alerts, um, database alerts. So looking at system, uh, what system is at the top level? Of course, um, we have multiple systems being monitored by Solution Manager uh, configured, but for this particular case, um, let's take a look at the um, BW ABAP environment. 13,000 alerts. Wow, that's a lot. So we click into there. Um, that's repetitive alerts, I guess. It's because of the ABAP message server status. Um, wasn't able to find a message server. This so is an example there and come back so that's a high level view of the inbox functionality of the alert so yeah I guess you click on the lightning um, symbol text you there uh, if you're looking at metric standpoint we can uh, look at to the right where the details are uh, on the tree you can uh, expand different areas um, here, just for this demo, we have a uh, business object environment, BO4, hooked up that we set up some performance tests. Um, we ran some reports, uh, custom reports that, uh, you know, put some load on the system. Here is a, a dummy report that uh, we run, which technically on the BO side generates workload um, on the back end BW HANA environment. So in this case, when we run this query, and refresh that's going against the BW as well as the BO environment but the BW environment that uh, retrieving information from HANA. Uh, here's another type of test that we can run here we um, use our performance test uh, expertise we did some SAP ECAT recording so automated recording of some um, GUI transactions as well as some kind of batch type transactions here we are uh, um, the demoing the uh, one of the ECAT for selecting against a table in fact that just generates a little workload on the system 
um, and while that runs for whatever number of seconds that's putting load on the BW on HANA environment so that we can just get some measurements so this is a demo environment again um, to look at response times uh, the Bob GA environment puts a uh, load on the RFC side whereas the ECAT um, load test that we do puts the load on the response time on the dialog side interactive side so uh, here you have the metric and with the chart symbol if you double click into it um, we actually cut out some waiting time there but uh, basically the chart shows up here and with the chart you have um, values that are reported and you can show the threshold that uh, obviously here we have the green and red threshold which these values that we did some some tests um, ran for a long time created some thresholds going to red again here um, we can run another test here's a uh, more lengthy uh, scripts that we record to run a bunch of transactions and this involves the uh, SEP GUI dialogues etc so I'm gonna run a string of transactions um, do not stop on errors launch that off uh, it's about 15 or 10 15 transactions that we pre-recorded before scripted it and uh, run off this automation this can be fairly useful for doing load tests um, when you obviously are testing performance alerts management you need to make sure you have alerts and you have metrics to analyze so as you can see this is ripping through I uh, didn't put anything time in there but essentially it's replaying scripts that we previously record and automate um, so looking back at here where solution manager has the uh, response times for the system so at the system level obviously it comprises multiple things inclusion of uh, um, various different uh, responses from the components and here we're looking at the RFC response time uh, as I told you before when we do the Bob J type test it's coming through RFC back end into the BW putting a lot on the ABAP as well as the HANA uh, back end for the database queries so you can see a spike there obviously above the uh, two seconds and then we have some uh, red alerts and then it came back down again which is why it shows green even though you pull up the chat historically you would have some red alerts um, here's looking at the average dialogue response time well we just did some small tests so you see a blip up there um, obviously it's measuring actual dialogue that's run on the system so if you don't have any then you don't have any um, average response time reported by the system okay so now we go back and take a look on the database side um, see what kind of uh, monitoring that we can view from the HANA database of course uh, if you have a HANA studio you can look at individual systems and uh, you know various performance that you can view from there but the point of having solution manager is to bring it into a data store and be able to uh, have a central alerting mechanism for these metrics um, if you've taken the effort to set it up and you've get this um, kind of a central view now we're going into looking at database performance you've got configuration availability and exceptions so exceptions are all going to be dumps and traces uh, anything that uh, can throw an alert based on the event um, here we have configuration if uh, looks there we have a red and we drove in and there was uh, we actually deactivated um, logging on this database because uh, it's a demo environment that's why it's red and um, here you would look at also uh, areas where again exceptions you've got services or volumes anything unavailable um, it's going to show up here existence of a backup it checks that backups been done on the system so here we have uh, here the um, time since the last backup etc uh, chart that comes up and that's kind of an overview here we look at uh, real-time environment runtime environment has dumps if there's uh, new dumps etc um, it's going to list them here so it's just a cross sample example of the type of um, events that you can see out of the environment 
uh, here we just looking at CPU all the CPU metrics uh, come from uh, the host agent uh, so you have to make sure you install the host agent update that and make sure that is reporting the uh, metrics on the OS side um, and I also have long running you can also activate that as a trace before you would get long running type uh, monitors for actual long running transactions so that would be a trace you need to enable using the HANA Studio and here we're looking at the uh, OS um, for the appliance running on HANA Linux so you know basic CPU utilization yeah yeah um, you can click on there you got uh, 19 alerts um, 13 recent changes again here similar to previously uh, the idea is you can go into each alert and view them I see what time they were and um, drill down as necessary to look at those individual alerts in your inbox uh, obviously SAP produces a lot of alerts if you've got them um, configured you need to understand what the threshold should be um, otherwise in alert type uh, monitoring you can just get thresholds that are gonna give you a lot of noise here's an example of looking at this guy all um, on a Linux server the uh, response times last measured time and again here uh, if it's find it to be problematic um, again with the solution manager if you set up uh, kind of help desk function you can notify create tickets that's another whole ball of different configuration you need to get into to configure that portion so for the scope of this particular uh, video we are looking at um, you know technical monitoring so again we can look at various different containers of uh, alerts inboxes um, here we have multiple different databases listed um, HTB is for HANA but um, we've got various different managed system that we've set up um, looks like the current status is green the worst has got red uh, some of these have hundreds of thousands of uh, alerts against them or repeated alerts against them so again the effort in figuring out the tuning these is to make it more useful for your environment is probably the chunk of the work um, after you spend whatever amount of effort you had to configure a solution manager and hook up technical monitoring adding managed systems and configuring them in a uh, technical scenario um, so at the OS level again it's standard uh, to be able to monitor you have to have the host agent um, reports things like CPU, virtual CPU um, utilization etc double click on them you get the chart again just like before and there's the chart now this chart to me is not that useful if you've got multiple things happening on your system it doesn't really give you ability to overlay them in the same time frame that would you know help you correlate what the root cause is um, here's another example of uh, alerts that you can get you know here's HTTP availability obviously it's pinging a particular URL and if it's not available um, well, it's not responding again you get repeated alerts it's going to show up here in the availability um, monitoring so that's kind of a uh, high level of the BW on HANA uh, it's just any NetWeaver uh, this is 7.4 um, so ensure that you have the proper working of it you need to make sure all the agents etc are compatible and registered into the solution manager diagnostic along with the uh, SLDs and the landscape and also the landscape management DB LMDB um, here we're looking at the um, instance monitoring uh, looks like the uh, test that we did for Bob J as well as some queries um, produce some response time alerts I guess six seconds is above the typical two seconds and that's why it's got the red alert there um, solution manager can be a little slow I guess if you're having multiple system hook up with thousands of alerts floating in um, you gotta be weary about um, performance itself so you gotta make sure you size the technical environment properly for solution manager itself is a landscape that requires hardware software as well as resources to constantly 
maintain and keep it um, updated to be useful. Um, so that's kind of wraps up this overview of the Solution Manager technical monitoring with the uh, Business Warehouse on HANA overview of monitoring capabilities. Thank you.